This is Pulse 95. Pulse 95. It's the Morning Majulus. It's the Morning Majulus. Good morning and welcome on to the Morning Majulus. And we're very, very excited for this all-important conversation. It is about a success story here in the Emirate of Sharjah and a, a success story for the United Arab Emirates. We're joined here by the first female pilot and officer of the Sharjah Police, uh, Nada Ashamsi, first warrant officer. Very good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Well, it is a very a, a big pleasure for us and an honour for us to have you here in the studios. First up, I'd like to ask you, what does it mean for you to be a pilot with the Sharjah Police and uh, and to be the very, very first one? Uh, and, and what does flying mean to you? Um, I couldn't be more proud. It's really a feeling that I can't explain it. To be the first female pilot at Sharjah Police, it means a lot to me. Mm. Yeah, now talk to us about uh, the journey and how difficult it was and, and what does your duty as, as a pilot entail? Yes, uh, I started my journey since 2018. Uh, and um, flying is a dream that began when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, usually I like to uh, listen uh, to the sound of the airplanes approaching the place. Uh, something that uh, different when I was uh, traveling in the air airports. I like the announcement for the pilot and the airplane. I like to listen to the annoys- announcement of the pilot. So I said to myself that uh, it is that it is a dream. I must, I must to ma- make it true. Mm. So I reached my goal with the, with the days. And uh, were your family uh, your support system in this decision to become to becoming a female pilot? How did they take uh, this? Actually, my father he was supported me. He was happy when he mm. know that I will attend to the to the aviation club to learn flying. My mother, she was a little bit <laughs> uh, afraid from how you will fly alone, how you will learn it, how. But when she came and saw that I'm flying alone, uh-huh. she really proud of me and she she's happy. And what kind of plane do you do you fly? Uh, it's uh, uh, a fly uh, a light sport aircraft, uh-huh. and there is a two types. Yeah. A22 LS and the other type is uh, A32 LS. Both of them uh, has a same body kit. Difference is in techniques and uh, the concept of a flying. Can you talk to us a bit about the training? Is that difficult physically, mentally? Of course. Uh, everything when you will start it from the from new, scratch, new yeah. something, yeah. Right. Uh, it will be it will be difficult. But when you will attend with the training, with the people there, you will learn something new. Uh, at least when you will do it, you will feel something that makes you really proud and happy. Can you talk to us more about that happy feeling with the joy of flying? What is it like doing the takeoff and landing and being <laughs> on the air? Uh, I remember when uh, the day that they told me, they didn't tell me that I will go solo. I was with my instructor, so we take off. He was uh, just practice something with me, uh-huh. uh, engine failure, uh, turns, everything. Then uh, he told me that we have to land. When I land, uh, he just uh, told me, Nada, just stop, break, open the brake, okay. Then captain, what will happen? Uh, he told me, he opened his uh, seat belts. <laughs> he left me alone. He said, bye, 10 <laughs> minutes and I want to see you oh back my again. God. <laughs> I feel shaking, Captain, come on. <laughs> he told me, you can do it. When I was in the runway, I was um, shaking and I said, no, I can't, I can't do it. Okay, it's fine, I'm fine. And he, to- he was talking with me in the radio. He told me, you are good, you are fine. I take off, it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I do the circuit when I come for the landing, the landing, it's a little bit, it's difficult than yeah. take off. Take yeah. off, everyone, he can. Right, Everyone right. can do the take-up, yeah. but when you come for the land, it's a little bit, you feel something different. Be smooth. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So when I land smoothly, 
<laughs> I was uh, in the radio. I was uh, shouting, "Oh my God! I can't you believe that I did it!" Yeah. So uh, all of the staff was waiting for me. They dropped the water on me when I got <laughs> down. Yeah. Amazing. It's, it, it sounds like a pretty supportive environment. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can you can you talk to us more about that? Because I'm interested in the fact that you're a woman and you ventured into this particular area and profession. Can you talk to us about the support you've received from Sharjah Police as a workplace, as an environment for women to thrive? Talk to us about that aspect. Uh, I was supported by Major General Saif Al Zari Al Shamsi, Commander in Chief of Sharjah Police. Uh, and I still remember how happy he was when I got my pilot license. And the biggest support uh, I got is that he highlighted me as the first female pilot at Charger Police. Amazing. Yeah. Well, so it certainly is, is a big feat uh, to be the first female pilot. Now, another thing that people don't know about this, uh, and I do, and, and some people do as well, is that you're a poet as well. Oh, apart from just yeah. being a police officer, yeah. apart from just being a pilot, you're a poet. <laughs> Now, I want you to explain to me the joy you feel when you're flying and cruising above. And, and, and do you feel successful? Do you think that you've made it when you're flying? Talk to describe the moment when you're flying above and, and, and posing as well and looking at the ground. <laughs> and the... Until now, anyone could ask me this uh, question. I told him I can't explain the feeling. Yeah. Yeah. This feeling, you will feel it in your own if you will take off with the airplane that you you will be alone on it yeah. this feeling it's really it's really hard to explain it's something nice mm. something make you proud from inside something that you will say i said to myself that uh, nothing impossible mm. everything you can do it definitely just just you have to believe in yourself yeah so yeah. i really feel happy and proud I'm also very curious. I want to know how long is the training to be to become a pilot? The the whole academy and the the training process. How long does uh, it take? Actually, in this aircraft, uh, which was uh, I trained on it, yeah. uh, it took from me within one year, nine months, oh. one year, yeah, something like that. Mm. Yeah, because I'm working and studying the same time, aviation, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's why it's uh, taking from me just a little bit, a long time, yeah. And in terms of uh, advice given to you while you're learning, what, what would you say was the best piece of advice or memorable one as you're learning to fly? Uh, All right, let's do it this way. What advice would you give someone females. who wants to be a pilot, yeah. somebody who wants to be a pilot, a young person, what advice would you give them? I would advise them, first of all, to go and try this uh, kind of airplanes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when they will attend this place, I don't think that they will go out without uh, a license. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what okay. Advice? Why, why is that? Yeah. It's a place make you happy. Um, the focus that you have to be and the patient you have to be in the in the wind and the sky. Sorry. Uh, it's make you when you go down of the aircraft that your mind is free for. for from everything you yeah. you will listen you will you will you will forget everything that's the feeling what i feel when i uh, attend this uh, place that's and beautiful. what words of of encouragement would you give specifically females young females who who want or who are enthusiastic and, and want to become one day pilots in general what words um, of encouragement would you give them uh, i will give them a short uh, sentence that you become what you believe in. Yeah. Mm. Um, every woman uh, should uh, should believe in herself yeah. and her capacity. So there is nothing impossible. She can reach whatever she wants, and she can. Uh, in United Arab Emirates, I think she can uh, attend whatever job she wants. She would like to attend on it. Any any second comes to you and you regret becoming a pilot any second you're like oh you know what maybe i shouldn't have done this no, no right no. <laughs> so that's that's kind of one no. one word of encouragement to give uh, uh, future uh, female pilots mm -hmm. yes. that you're not going to regret it never. it's an amazing experience never. yes yeah. well, what i'm very jealous about is 
that the fact that you know Ronnie just pointed out saying um, you know do you regret being a pilot because yeah. she just didn't do pilot studies she's she's in the media department of Sharjah Police she's yeah. a broadcaster in English yeah. as well you did the yes. English bulletins it as is, well yeah. uh, and you hold a master degree in strategy and leadership management how did you find the time to do what <laughs> <laughs> it's really it was hard yeah and it's totally different from my main major yeah it's totally different yeah. from what i do in daily work uh to jump from from zero to ten uh i think uh i have to stand and clap to myself of course <laughs> big accomplishments yeah. it yeah. is it is yeah. but when you you will reach what you want you will you will feel that you are uh, happy and you want to give more it was all worth yeah. it it is yeah yeah Wow, amazing. Now talk to us about the, the flying hours that you've now done and uh, do you want to fly? Is there a particular plane you wanted to fly? Maybe a Concorde? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, it's taking from me uh, 25 hours uh, ground school, uh, 24, uh, 20, sorry, 23 hours dual and 7 hour uh, solo. Okay. Uh, I faced a lot of challenges. Of course, and uh, uh, mm -hmm. as I told you, I can't, uh, I can't forget my feelings when I go my first solo. Uh, wow! Well, that's yeah. Me. And my dream airplane, of course, to fly. It's an electric wow. airplane. Yeah. Ooh, I want go. to be the first female, Emirati female, that. Uh, fly with the electric airplane Amazing. inshallah i see that happening yeah inshallah yeah. i wow. see that happening yeah. inshallah maybe a solo <laughs> one you never know well that could be a really really amazing um well uh, lastly uh, i'd like uh, to you know would like to thank you for joining us uh, this morning uh, here on the program and uh, any word of advice for us uh, in terms of <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> being being successful because you know we have the UAE Mars mission as well, which is happening uh, today. Uh, any word on on celebrating success uh, in terms of uh, for for general public, apart from just young female, for general public, and and, and how does it feel to be an Emirati and witnessing just success around <laughs> us? Uh, if you love what you do, you will never give up. So you have to love what you do, and you have to uh, to to do whatever you want. Uh, life you will live it just one time so you have keep trying you will uh, fell down but you have to stand up again so nothing impossible I think this is my advice to all nothing <laughs> certainly well yes. uh, gold can be limitless indeed thank you very much for joining us first warrant officer Nada Shamsi from Sharjah Police who is also the first female pilot of Sharjah Police if you'd like to this discussion you can do so on our podcast page as well as on youtube it'll be up again uh, very very shortly and uh, once again thank you very much for joining us thank you so much for inviting me to be with you today thank uh, you it certainly was a pleasure you. for all three of us here on the morning matches <laughs> stay tuned to pulse 95 we shall be back again after the news headlines and we'll continue the discussions from there on you're listening to the morning matches on pulse 95 if you liked this episode of The Morning Majlis, drop a like and subscribe. 95. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Bubbles.